Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for stopping back in here. To, back, it's been a while since I said this, you guys. Again. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today while I'm in quarantine here, because as you all know who have been with me, uh, Chris and I are doing a two week quarantine. Uh, since we were on a cruise and in an airport and you know not really around anywhere that had any COVID-19 uh, outbreaks but just to err on the side of caution we have decided to self-quarantine ourselves for two weeks so I am struggling over here to not really struggling because goodness knows I could go downstairs to my own store and find things which is what I did today uh, what I'm going to be working on today is is just a little tweaking to my mailbox. Uh, I went out in my garage and I found that I had purchased this last year and I've used it once. And I found some florals out there in a bin. I might go out there and just show you where I keep this stuff. Uh, uh, and I found some florals with this, uh, well, in a bin underneath where I keep these. And... So I'm just gonna reuse those florals in the back trough. In my mailbox, I have like a back trough and I'm gonna hang this. And I really don't have like an Easter themed kind of anything, but I do have a little white birdhouse that I can put out there. And I thought I would make a bright, funky bow. Just like a, you know, now this doesn't perfectly match this, but it does blend well. And I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna make a nine loop funky bow out of this ribbon just out of this ribbon. I, I was looking through and I was trying to mix some yellows and I was like, oh Lord, that's not gonna work. So I decided I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna add some greenery. I'm gonna add a, 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 you know, a garland. I already had everything that I'm using in this video. I already had here because I can't go into a, I'm not gonna go into a store and shop, you know, while I'm in this 14 day quarantine. I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, you know, I could shop on Amazon, I guess, but even Amazon's not delivering. Let me pause. Let me put push my mouth and pause here for a second and just say to you, I hope that you guys are, are, are faring okay through this COVID-19 business. Uh, it is very daunting. It is very stressful. It is difficult to say the least. And I want y'all to know that I'm here with you guys. I will be trying to bring you some videos in the week. I, I really don't have a lot to do. I have, Chris found me my front porch bin. So another video, maybe this week will be my front porch spring bin or spring decor. Uh, and I and I, as I think I had mentioned, I have those little uh, embroidery hoop, very, very easy little project. There may be times that I'll just come back and chat with you guys, like do a, not really a car chit chat, but just come here and chat with you guys about something, you know, but I, I'm, I'm just not going to go into the stores. I'm not going to put myself into stores too, because I'd be too afraid. I am perfectly healthy. I have some allergies happening, but I'm perfectly healthy. I have no symptoms. I am asymptomatic for COVID-19, you know, but you just never know if you're a carrier, as you've heard on the news or whatever, you can still be a carrier without even knowing it. So I wanna give us 14, we wanna give ourselves 14 days. So Chris is outside working, he's working in the yard and doing whatever it does he does in the spring. And uh, I'm gonna be just doing little projects and who knows what all around here. So, but I just wanted to come back and just acknowledge that I understand that we are right in the middle of the, in the midst of this. And I'm hoping to try to bring you, a, a, you know, a little bit of something that maybe take your mind off of that for a little bit, even if it's just to chit chat with you. <clears throat> you know, as I said, I don't have a lot of decorating. I'm not going to redecorate my house for Easter, although I do have my big bunnies. I might bring those out. So we'll see where we go. But anyway, I just did want to mention that. I didn't want to just, you know, go willy nilly into this, uh, into this video without acknowledging, you know, uh, you know, that this is happening around us. It is a serious thing. I don't ever need, need to 
act as if I'm ignoring it or anything like that. You know what I mean? I wanted to acknowledge that you guys are, are in your homes and you're dealing with this. And those of you who have children, God bless you, <laughs> in your house with you. Kristen's been trying to work with her classroom and uh, Candace, thank goodness, is working from home now. Thank goodness. You know, so we're all touched. We're all touched by this. But we're going to keep looking up and we're going to have faith that this is going to pass us on by and we're going to get back to normal again, right? All right, I'll quit yammering. Now, let's get to making a funky bow. I'm going to make one funky, a funky bow out of one ribbon, just this one. Hopefully, if I have enough, I just want to make a nine loop. I don't need it to be huge. So let me move y'all over here and I'm going to go into some fast motion here while I cut a ribbon up. And then what I'm gonna do is I will probably go out to my mailbox because Chris is really busy in the yard. So I will probably go put my mailbox together and then come back and show you what I did. I just have like a green garland to put around it and I've got some florals, you know, to put into it. I might walk y'all out there, you know, and then turn my, turn my phone off and do the decor and then come back and show you the end product, okay? But let's make this bow because my goodness, I haven't talked to you like this in a while and I am yammering on and on and on. So, let's cut some ribbon. I'm gonna I'm cut gonna... Nine, nine strips of this ribbon at 22 inches long a piece, and that's gonna give us a nine loop funky bow. So I'll be right back after I get done cutting, and we'll make a funky bow. Okay, you guys, well, I didn't quite have enough ribbon. Three, four, two, three, four, five. And then I got a really short piece, six. Let's do, let me see. I did find this, so I'm gonna mix this in with it. So I'm going to I cut a couple of short ones because I could tell I was getting short. But let's do an eight loop funky bow. One, two, three, four. And I will certainly be able to use that for something else. So let me go ahead and do the dovetails for this and then I'll cut four of these and do the dovetails and then we'll be back to make an eight loop funky bow. Sorry, I had to regroup there for a second. It's okay. Not a biggie. All you do is fold it in, or, you know, side by side, go to the folded edge and cut away from yourself down to the edge. I didn't used to do it like that, but I've finally gotten used to doing it like that. Okay, now let me get this cut and I'll be right back. Okay. Okie dokie, now I've got eight strips of ribbon and each strip will equal one loop in my eight loop funky bow. I also pulled over these two and I'm going to snug these up in the bottom of it and these are gonna be my tails. I'm gonna go ahead and make these my tails. So let's get started here. First thing we do is fold our first piece of ribbon right in half, just like that. And I want to go here to my measuring tape and I want to measure out six inches and I want to pinch it together right at six inches, right like that. This is, this is very uh, stiff wired ribbon. I always suggest that you use wired ribbon for a funky bow. And then you twist that back tail to bring the front side forward, at least at this point. They get twisted around sometimes and they, you know, but at least at this point I know that I have started all of the tails moving in the same direction. Okay, and next time we're gonna take the next pattern or different kind of ribbon. You can use two to three, 
to four differences. I have a funky bow cheap sheet, by the way, on my blog. It's always linked in the description. My blog is that you can find my funky bow cheat sheet. Uh, I do not have this eight one in there, uh, listed in there, but it's very easily done. We're gonna change directions of the loops every two times through the pattern of ribbon here. So anyway, we go to six inches again and pinch it together at that point. And again, even though this looks like one-sided ribbon, it's not. This really is the back. You can tell that that's the back. So we wanna twist that around and pull it forward. So there we have our first two loops and our eight loop funky bow. Okay, so we start the pattern, and if you had other ribbons in this, and if it was an even numbered looped bow, we would keep going through the pattern and put that the loop up, point the loop up. But since we only have two different patterns of ribbon in this bow, we're gonna switch directions of the loop this time. I'm gonna go to six inches, and I'm gonna turn that loop down from center. See my thumb being the center of the bow. Okay, and I'm still gonna go back to that back tail, and I'm gonna twist that back tail forward. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the next one. And again, go to six inches, and turn that loop down from center and add it in. Accordion it in, side by side by side by side. Okay. Oh, come on now. Separate, this is sticky ribbon, and twist, okay? And this time, we're gonna start the pattern over again, and we're going to turn, again, go to six inches, and we're gonna turn that loop up from center this time. Okay. Twist that back tail. Same thing for this one, we're gonna Point that loop up from center, pinching it together at the six inch point in that strip of ribbon as you fold it in half. And here we go with our last two, but you can guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn that loop down from center, just like that again. Again, accordion it in side by side, and I'm allowing that ribbon to, to scooch back into the crook of my finger. I'm not holding that extremely tight, you guys. I'm holding it together, but I'm not squeezing it so that it's hurting my hand. I've, I've let up on it a little bit, okay? And then here we go with the last strip. And turn it down from center. And scrunch it in there, cording it in there, okay? That back tail and twist. Now. I'm gonna add these two in. I'm gonna do it right side, right side together. Actually, I think I'm gonna do one that way. A right side up against my finger. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other one, just have it coming in this way. That way they'll lay a little better. Okay, now, and then I want this. One last piece, I'm gonna go right to the center and put it in there, and that way, I want this to be very last because when I put this on, I want it to pull the bow up against the mailbox, so that's why I want that the last, and this will just go behind the all the other loops. Okay, so I got my pipe planter, I'm gonna lay it over the, over the top, lift my thumb, pull the bottom around the bottom, and the top around the top, and I'm going to use my this hand, sorry, as resistance. These fingers up as close as you can to the back of the bow. I kind of scrunch my hand around and then I really squish it together and twist. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, there we go. So that kind of looks like a hot mess right now, doesn't it? But, going to be the bottom. Doesn't matter because it's going to be a big round bow. The most important part of any bow, as I say over and over and over again here on my channel, is the fluffing. 
So I want you to take the time out and I want you to put your hand on every single loop and pull it forward and up and mix, mix it all up in with the tails. If the tails come up into the bow, that's okay. Let the tail slip and slide up into the in, up into the bow. But I want this to be a big, fat, pretty, funky bow. Oh, I like it with this uh, on this meshy ribbon. I'm glad that not that I'm glad that I didn't have enough of this, but it sure is pretty to mix that in. Okay, something like that. Again, this is not a you know multi, multi, multi looped bow but it sure is making a big statement and it's nice and and stiff that's another important thing for a funky bow get yourself make sure you have nice stiff ribbon so especially if you're going to hang it outside i'm going to grab my never wet uh, which is what i spray all over my outdoor decor uh, and i'm going to grab my stuff and we're going to head on out to the mailbox now and we're going to put the mailbox together for spring Easter, yes, but more for just spring, okay? So this worked out really cute, and I'll do more fluffing when it gets on the mailbox, okay? So I'll be back. Uh, let me see here. Let me, let me walk you out to the uh, garage, and I'll show you where I keep this stuff, and then we'll head down the driveway, and I'll show you what I have on the mailbox now, what was, that's, what's been hanging there since we left town on our vacation. And uh, we'll put a little bit something new together. All right, all right, I'll be right back behind the camera. You know what, hang on. Let me sit here while I'm sitting here right now and do my final words while I'm looking at you because when we go out there, then I won't be able to look at you uh, because I'll have to turn the camera around. I'll be shaking and it'll be, I'll be a hot mess. So let me say my final words here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I say these final words after at the end of every one of my videos. Uh, I felt like they were given to me a couple of years ago now. I felt like one day I could almost read them on a chalkboard in front of me. So I sometimes get a little mixed up with the words, but not usually. They're usually the same. Uh, I never know who needs them. And if you don't need them, please forgive me for saying them. For, for those who might need to hear them, here we go. Uh, thank you all so much for stopping in here to see what I'm up to. I hope that those of you who may be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, but don't go away because we're going to walk out to the mailbox. But until next time, while I'm looking at you, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys. Here I am in my garage, and that's where I keep all of my seasonal mailbox decor, right there in those two bins. And you can see the mailbox covers on the front there, on the top of it, excuse me, right on the top, right here. So I always carry my stuff out to the mailbox in a bucket. So here I have my bucket and I've got my, here's all the, the florals that I had stuffed in that bin. <laughs> so I'm gonna take them out too. Honest to goodness, I haven't purchased one thing for this decor. So I'm gonna stick these in here. I also have these two, uh, these were also in the bin. It's just a garland, a green garland, and a green, uh, like, flouncy thing there to put out one end. So I'm just going to stick them in here. And, okay, I've got my tie wraps that I'll need out there. I'm going to stick them down in there. Got my snippers in my pocket. I've got my scissors now in my pocket. I'm going to get the garage door opener that should be sitting up here. Somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Here we go. Because my phone went crazy. Oops. There's Chris over here doing stuff to the fence. So here we go. Pick up my bucket. Got the neighbor out here on his 
on his uh, lawn tractor here. But here's the front of the house. I put up my old wreath there. Uh, take care of and show you that real quick. Before we left for our vacation, made this years and years ago. I don't think I have this on my channel, but that's a mesh wreath. I also forgot my never wet, so I'll have to come back and get that. And I just put these couple little flags up that I had called, and I changed out my gazing ball for that. So let me run back into my garage. I forgot my never wet. Let me do that real quick. shelf. It was almost empty that one. I got a new one. All right, here we go. Never wet for fabric. That's what I always use on my outdoor stuff so that it doesn't get hurt in the rain. All right, stick that in there too. Now we're going to head out to the mailbox. Grab my bow. Okay, here we go. A little bit of a trek out here, but that's okay. To get a little bit of exercise, it's not a bad thing, right? And there's the house. Thank you, believe we came back and everything was absolutely fine with it. Just, we had it alarmed, of course, the whole time we were gone and cameras set up everywhere in the house. <laughs> and we just checked it every day. So everything was fine. The only thing that came close to our house was a bee that would come into the camera. <laughs> but anyway, this is the cover that I have on. I almost don't want to take this cover off. I might not, you guys. I kind of really like this hummingbird cover. Look at that, that's cute. Pair beautifully with it. Well, shucks, I'm just going to leave that on. I like that. Okay, and then I had made a bow, but I'm going to switch out the bow. And then I didn't have anything in the back. So, let me put this together, and I'll be right back to show you the final product. Again, it's hard for me to, uh, to do this on camera because I don't have any help, and I didn't bring my tripod out here. So, I'll be back, and I'll show you how I did everything. Okay, All right. Buddy, back and here's my mailbox and on this side I put my poor decrepit old uh, <laughs> birdhouse there I need a new one I really do but I got that from Piper Classics and I have all kinds of little hanging signs like that Chris had to replace the chain on it for me it's a mess but anyway I'm gonna hang it there for this time again I always say that and I think I'm gonna get a new one but I haven't yet <laughs> anyway here's that mailbox cover which I love and here's the funky bow, and here are all those florals, and I happened to find a little chick in there. Look, so I put, it says happy spring, you can hardly see, but happy spring, really cute. And then I've got my, you know, garland around the post, and then I've got this other uh, swaggy kind of thing hanging down the side, which is really pretty. And I found a little bunny downstairs. This thing is about 20 years, no, no, 30 years old, y'all. I'm not even kidding. But I love him. And as you can see, we have a solar light, a, a nicer one. Chris had one out here before, but he got a nicer one. And this one works like a charm and lights this up at night, too. So I will take an all-over picture of this when I'm done. I'm trying to not show you my numbers there on my mailbox. But anyway, I'm fixing to spray my Never Wet on, which is, here it is, Never Wet for fabric, water repelling treatment. And I use it on all of this stuff. I use it on all, and everything, oh, it's coming back in my face. I don't need to put it on my face. <laughs> Let me get sideways. Uh, everything but berries, I did put it on those, but they're okay. They're on the bow. And that'll do it, you guys. All right, and there's the house back there. And I'll probably work on my uh, front porch in the next video. But what a happy mailbox. Oh, here comes my neighbor with his lawnmower. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand today. But 
Uh, I figured it was time we had a little bit of happiness come into our lives, huh? Let's look at this pretty happy spring mailbox. So, anyway, I'll let y'all go for now. And I'll be thinking of you guys and keeping you in my thoughts and prayers, as always. Much love all around. Hugs all around. Catch you next time, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>